Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Rudd. I am the founder of United People. Today in one of our national newspapers there has been reported more widespread corruption. The article went into the matter in some detail and I won't bore you with the details here but I will provide the link with this video for you to browse at your leisure. Sadly, this is not the first time that such matters have not been fully reported. Six o'clock news on RTE didn't report it, and I suspect others didn't also. Sadly, I can speak about Garda practice on a personal level. Due to a young man being badly misled by a member of another political party, the young man, a complete stranger, came to my family home and proceeded to try and attack myself. When this failed because of my martial arts experience, he then proceeded to try and break into my home and then when that failed, he proceeded to break a window of my home. The outcome of this months later was that the young man was allowed to pay €170 Euro for the glass that was broken and let walk away after that. Prior to that in Dublin, Tala protesters held up Joan Borton in her car for an hour or two. On the same day, she was also hit in the neck with an empty water balloon. For those crimes, if they are indeed crimes, because very few have been found guilty yet, she got 20 Gardaí full time for six months. The point is this, there is Garda misdeeds and there is Garda unfairness in what they do and the resulting efforts from them. This is why my political party United People is seeking a thing called participatory democracy. This was once in the constitution but has been watered down to virtually ineffectiveness. Participatory democracy was called for in a national convention that was held a little while back where 83% democratically voted for its recall. What the people got instead, however, was a vote to decide if the age of the people running for president could be lowered. This was a call that was much lower down the list. The reason why I mentioned participatory democracy is that when it was first tried to be instigated at the founding of the state, it would have meant that more people are elected, especially at national and local level, would have been more accountable to the people. But not only that, other institutions too. Participatory democracy needs to be introduced. The latest reports in today's newspapers, the ones RTE and other biased media are reporting, the antics of politicians through their cronyism, nepotism, corruption, too friendly with business people, and their biased media is widespread and it needs to be curtailed. Participatory democracy would help to curb all that. But of course, Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, Labour and others don't want this, so they are playing deaf. Fingers in the ears, head in the sand. In order to get around this, I ask that you, the citizen, go forth on the next election day, and the, the local elections are coming up soon as well, and choose your candidate that will best represent you. Not only because they will do what you want them to do, but because they will do what's right. This means making our politicians and further departments in government more accountable. Please go to the United People website. On it, you will find many pages of information that the government and biased media is not telling you. Thank you for listening.